Okay. I'm going to go through four examples of writing an equation from a word problem. I suggest pausing the video for each example, reading through the word problem, and identifying the different parts of your equation, and try to build your equation before you resume play. Example 1. During the basketball season, Jason scored 43 points. He scored five fewer points than three times the number Kevin did. How many points did Kevin score? So we know that Jason scored 43 points. And this 43 points, we also have a word, five fewer and three times the number. Okay, so our unknown here is the number of goals uh, scored by Kevin. Okay, so we have 43, we have five fewer, and three times a number. Okay, so I'm just going to represent n. This is going to be my variable that represents the number of points scored by Kevin. Okay, since I'm using n as my variable to represent the number of points scored by Kevin, if I come back up here to the um, word problem, I see that I have three times the number Kevin did. The way we represent three times a number is by putting a three as our coefficient and then our variable three n. Okay. So Jason scored 43 points. He scored five fewer. This means that whatever three times the number Kevin did, Jason scored five less than that. So we want to make sure that when we see five fewer, that we are subtracting five points. And my apologies for that subtracting five points. Okay, so we have three times the number Kevin did minus five equals 43. And now we can solve for how many points Kevin scored because now we have a two-step equation. Our first step is going to be to move this minus 5. Since it is a minus 5, to cancel it on the left hand side of my equal sign, I'm going to subtract, uh, add it to both sides. So I'm just going to come here and add 5 to both sides. This is going to give me 3n equals 48. Now I'm ready for my second step in this two-step equation. Notice I have three times the number n. We are multiplying three times the variable. The variable is what we want to isolate. Since we have multiplication, the way we isolate that is to divide both sides by the coefficient. And in this case, the coefficient is 3. So I am going to divide both sides by 3. If I can get rid of my underlining. So now I am left with n equals 16. So this means that Kevin scored 15, or sorry, 16 points. Okay? Alright, let's move on to the second example. In one season, Ken scored 19 soccer goals. He scored three fewer goals than twice the number of goals scored by Paul. How many goals did Paul score? Again, we have our number here, 19 which is three fewer goals. We have three fewer goals and twice the number of goals scored by Paul. Again, we're looking for the number of goals scored by Paul. 
So we have this number twice the number, of, uh, well, we'll go ahead and say N is the number of goals scored by Paul. Again, we have twice the number of goals scored by Paul. And to write twice the number, we would write this 2n, our coefficients 2, because we are multiplying n by 2. And then we have uh, 3 fewer. So Ken scored 3 fewer goals than twice the number of goals scored by Paul. So we have 2n, and again, 3 fewer means we're subtracting the 3 from the twice the number. So 2n minus 3 equals 19. Now we again have a two-step equation. We're going to add 3 to both sides. Because here we can see that we are subtracting 3. So if we want to um, get rid of that 3 from the left side of the equal sign, then what we do to one side, we do to the other. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. This is going to give me 2n equals 22. And now we're ready for our second step of this two-step equation. We want to isolate n. Right now, the n has a coefficient of 2. We're multiplying n by 2. So therefore, we want to divide both sides by 2 because to cancel out multiple, I mean, to cancel out multiplication, we divide. So I am going to divide both sides by 2. And this is n equals 11. Alright, example number three, Ryan joined a holiday coffee club that charged him a one-time fee of $15 for a coffee mug, plus $2 every time he filled his mug throughout the holiday season. If he spent a total of $43 over the season, how many times did Ryan fill his mug? So our known numbers here are is this constant of 15. He had to pay the 15 to start with. Okay, he spent a total of $43. And here is our coefficient. We know that each refill is going to be $2. The question is, how many times did he refill? So we're going to use R for... The number of times Ryan filled his coffee mug. Okay, so we want to know how many times he filled his coffee mug. That's what we don't know, but we do know that every time he fills it, he's going to be charged two dollars. So the way we would represent that is two R. That is his two dollars for the every time he fills up his coffee mug. All right. He spent $15 to get the mug, so that's part of his total because his total was $43. So of that $43, $15 of it was to buy the mug. So we want to know the value of R. How many times did Ryan fill his coffee mug? Again, we have a two-step equation. We have a plus 15 with our 2R. Again, we're wanting, we're wanting to isolate our variable, so we're going to move this 15 by subtracting it from both sides. So what we're left with is 2R equals 28. And again, now we're ready for our second step of this two-step equation. We have two multiplying with our number of refills equals 28. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because, again, to isolate that variable, which is currently being multiplied with our coefficient, we're going to divide both sides by that 2 so that we isolate the R. So now we have 28 divided by 2 and we get R equals 
14. Ryan filled his coffee cup 14 times in the holiday season. All right, our final example. Kayla and Tanya went shopping at the mall. If Tanya spent $104, eight times more than Kayla, how much did Kayla spend? So we have eight times more than Kayla being uh, one of the parts of our equation and, oops, sorry, and $104, okay? So we want to know, so we're going to say that X is the amount Kayla spent, okay? Now, if Tanya spent a total of $104 and Kayla spent, or she spent eight times more than Kayla, then we want to say, well, what did Kayla spend times eight? Because whatever Kayla spent, X times eight, is going to be 104. So now we have our one-step equation. Another way of looking at this would also be 8x equals 104. So we have our variable being multiplied by an 8. And so therefore, to isolate that variable x, we are going to divide both sides by 8. So what we get is $13. So Kayla spent $13. And this has been a review of how to write an equation from a word problem.